Bye bye house. See you later. Okay guys, I'm going to meet the car. We are out of here. The car is out there with Eva, Annie, and the whole the whole kit and caboodle. We've got a long ride to Shanghai, and then who knows what. Annie got a text earlier that said they found a cure for the virus. It's a simple herbal remedy. I haven't seen it on any other news service. And then she says, our flight's canceled. I said, are you sure? I think so. Well, it doesn't look like it's canceled to me. She's like, I got a message from a friend. We're in store for an interesting day, that's for sure. Jayo. Hello. Okay. You ready? Yep. Jayo. I didn't record it because I didn't want to have a camera. But the Wongo station when we Wait. enter Shanghai. Okay. Check, ask you questions, a lot of stuff. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, they checked our temperature. runways at the airport. No problem getting here. They did one temperature check checkpoint, but not too bad. No big deal. Alright folks, well we're here. Really, really good idea to take such an early flight. So the airport's basically empty. Just a few people here. Those are the economy section and we're in the business. And yeah, Eva's, Eva's doing okay, but she's starting to lose it. So we'll get checked in and uh, make our way to Hong Kong. Haven't slept yet. There'll be lots of time to sleep on the flight from uh, Hong Kong to uh, O'Hare. In order to prevent the spread of 2019 NCOV and protect the health of you and others, all inbound and outbound passengers are required to fill in the health declaration from an accept or entry. Thank you for your cooperation and wish you a pleasant journey. All right, folks, we are uh, in the VIP lounge. Nobody's here, just me, Eva, and Annie, so we can take our masks off for a short time. There's nobody, nobody around. So this is just phase one. This is exiting China. It's probably the easiest one, right? You know, they kind of want to get us out. No problems. Just we had a uh, temperature check on the ride here, and then we walked through a gate, and we ended up here. If this is a sign of things to come, I'm okay with that. I would show you um, 
more of the steps, but I'm very tired. That's Mama's over there, baby. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my coffee, have some breakfast. My sister just sent me a message on uh, WeChat telling me about uh, big news in the States. Total restrictions on all Chinese nationals coming into uh, USA starting tomorrow at 5 p.m. And tomorrow USA time. So we're actually going to arrive today in USA time. So we are really, really cutting it close. And uh, the comment section is giving me a shit ton of grief for me even attempting to do this. You guys want to play the blame game, get angry at me or whatever. I'm taking my daughter and my wife and I'm bringing them to the United States where it's going to be very safe. We're going to take precautions. We are not in an area where you know we could have contracted. You, 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 everybody's supposing. There's a lot of people that were saying, you, you know that one of you guys has the, has the virus. Well you don't know that and you don't know what we've done in precautions all you know is a 10 minute video or so in the last few days but we've been very diligent and we're okay we're going to take our time and make be careful we're not going to infect america but if there was an offer of a flight an offer for us to get out of there before they locked the whole country down we were going to take it and i'm glad i did and i'm not going to apologize so i don't know i don't know what you expect come and go now you think it's going to go? Mm -hmm. I think they're cleaning the plane. Washing it. I told her I think it looks like we're inside of a whale. See the whale? Oh, we're inside the belly of the whale. Mm -hmm. What sound does a whale make? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tired? She's very tired. I'm very tired. But I've had a few coffees. Boy, oh boy, I feel good. This tent is too short. <laughs> We're gonna throw away when we arrive. Yeah. Look at the big ones going, honey. <laughs> <laughs> For Hong Kong, we got to fill out a uh, Hong Kong declaration. Pretty simple questions, just where are we going and if we're staying in Ningbo, how long are we staying and what are we, where are we going? But we're uh, moving on through, so no need. All right, we're landing in Hong Kong. The devices may not be switched on. Before leaving the aircraft, please ensure that you have all your belongings with you. It has been a pleasure looking after you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Go down. Transferred us. Straight. I see it! You see the elevator? Is it coming? Hey, it's here! That was very smooth. We keep going. Are we going to go to a lounge? Yeah, 67. No, I mean the VIP. We're using so much hand sanitizer, our hands are drying out like crazy. That went very well. That was very easy. I think now, uh, this is pretty much in the bag. Arriving to the United States is going to be the, the coup de grace on this journey so far. All right, guys, we are in the, uh, the lounge here, business class lounge for Cathay Pacific. Annie's changing into her second set of clothes and uh i don't know i'm good i have all of this stuff i can toss so i'm just getting rid of this set of clothes and uh we're gonna we're gonna walk right onto the plane and head to chicago 
everybody sending me that uh, notification of, of this new travel ban and restriction, but according to everything I've seen, it doesn't start until uh, tomorrow, so I think we skated through this thing. This is the symbol of the day. Oh, these hurt my ears so much. These, these are tight, tight. Oh boy. I haven't heard one person cough. I haven't seen one person uh, around me not wear a mask. Everybody's being very uh, diligent, so it's very nice to see. Everybody here is uh, in the same understanding zone, so. Two and a half. <laughs> but don't tell anyone that the reason you're going Hello. Well, how many of you? Three. Uh, do my two oh, yeah. Annie is a disinfecting machine. That cubicle is going to be spotless. All right, we're on our flight. We had a long ride to uh, USA. Chicago, here we come. I've cycled around. We actually flew over Hualien and I looked down and I was like, I think I rode around those mountains. Cool. We just hit a lot of turbulence. Man, this plane was shaking all over the place. That turbulence was so bad, the stewardess Stewardess sat down and buckled up super quick. I've never seen that. Not the jump chair, the R chair. You might have seen me without my mask a couple of times. There's not that many people around and I need to take it off to drink and eat. And oftentimes when I'm, I've got the mask off, I'll talk to the camera. And Eva's doing pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. I keep having to make her put it back on. I think we're pretty safe in this, in this like little, little area. We have drapes there. I know we have a, a doorway there. So this, this whole area is isolated. Wow. I'm getting more and more nervous as we get closer. It's uh, two hours until we arrive. I sure hope this goes well and we can get to our house and start quarantining, start that process of just taking a few weeks and relaxing and decompressing and letting letting time pass. I went on my uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. Man, the comments really, really aggressive. Some some comments on the last three videos, four videos have been pretty popular. Corona, coronavirus, obviously popular trending item but holy shit hysteria created by media that is exacerbating everything people are really really getting crazy I, I hope that I hope I can go into that airport and we can walk out safely I'm half thinking there's gonna be protesters there wanting to shoot us there's some real real hatred in the comment section a lot of a lot of beautiful a lot of positive Mostly positive. But some of the negative is just... You feeling good? You excited to go to America? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, cha! One more hour. One more hour, and we arrive. You get to jump over us. Yeah. Kick that roof. 
bag, make sure it doesn't fall out. All right, guys, we are here in Chicago. America, America. That was the easiest customs check I've ever had into America. I can't even have to edit out every single one of your phrases. Uh, almost airplane crash, then you will have very smooth. Oh, we had we had that turbulence, so Annie thinks that was our our karma balance. So we had a scare, and now we had an easy entry. First of all, left the plane, walked right out. Nobody's waiting there with the temperature. I thought somebody was going to be waiting at the exit of the plane with temperature takers. None of that. Not once did somebody take our temperature. Then we left and went to the customs area. When we went to the customs area, we um, there was TVs above that were like, don't talk to anybody, keep your passport. You know, just like little public service announcements. And there was one in Chinese and English. Corona outbreak, uh, 14 days monitoring. If you have any sickness at all, please call the doctor and tell them that you have been to China. And then it said it in English, and then it said it to, in, in, in Chinese. In English, and in Chinese. That's the only thing that I saw with any relevance to the coronavirus. If tomorrow they're gonna be quarantining people and doing all sorts of crazy things, they better get busy setting that up. I didn't even see any quarantine tents. When we were in Hong Kong, I saw areas for people to be screened, but I didn't see any of that at, at, at O'Hare. We, we waited in line, went through the whole thing. We all three of us went to the gate, the customs guy, and the customs guy asked us just a few questions. Well, how old's your daughter? Oh, three and a half. Oh, that's just like our, da our my daughter, you know? And then he, he was really, really nice bantering with us, did not ask one question about um, the virus, asked us, how long do we plan to stay in town? That's good. He was really nice. It was almost unnerving how easy it was. Or Eva's very tired, so we're going to the Airbnb. I'm in the rental car, so uh, we are going to take it easy for two weeks. And they, they didn't even ask us about self-quarantining or anything. So I was I was actually interested in asking them some questions. What what do you recommend? Like what do you recommend is the distance around people and blah 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 blah. Nothing. Honestly, it was it was a bit too easy. Not a bad thing for us, but if someone came through and they did have the problem or they did have it, they could get in really easily. What? Phone. Uh, how do you like your house, honey? Is it cool? Run all the way to the end. Go. Go. One, two, three, go. Keep going, all the way to the end. This is our Airbnb. Not bad. How much is it a night? 120 US? One room, two yeah. room, three room, bathroom, bathroom, front room. Yeah? yeah she's Why is this your room? Why do you like it? Because this monster goes dancing. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you just said. Wrong day. Oh. We did it. Come here. Oh, get down. Oh, big hug. Group hug. We did it. We did it. It's kind of funny. This is my uh, Mount, Mount Everest expedition jacket. I feel like... I feel like we've just had a bit of an expedition getting here. Where, where did you get it? All right, guys, I just woke up. It's, I think it's 9.30 or something. I crashed hard, even in here, still crashing. Not really a great idea to crash so hard on your first night. It sort of reinforces and uh, strengthens the jet lag from my experience. So I have a feeling they'll be up well before midnight. Then we're going to have to sweat out eight hours of trying to figure out what the hell to do. One thing that might be good is that we could probably go out and get some supplies from like a 24-hour Walmart and we won't have to interact with many people. I'm very um, sobered by our entry. Um, I don't know what their plan is with the uh, 
with the ban, but I can totally understand why people are frustrated. If I was a Chinese person coming here to the States, I, I would have no instructions. And if I was ignorant in any way of the severity of the problem, I would be nonchalant about it. And Chinese are very um, influenced by stated rules, like if they got a pamphlet to follow or if they got instructions or fear kind of brought into them when they entered, they would, uh, oh, okay, well, we got to make sure to really quarantine ourselves. All right, guys, I have a plan for a couple more episodes of this series. Uh, I'm not going to cover all of our quarantine. It's going to be boring. Um, but uh, I, I do uh, want to cover a couple of more things before I uh, go back to the old timeline. I have a plan to use the time now to edit and then I will be taking videos back to cycling around the world. Uh, if you're interested in that, please subscribe. It looks like a lot of new, f new eyes have found the channel and uh, it's nice to meet you. It would be nice to meet you under different circumstances. Now that you're here, uh, there's a lot of interesting things to go through. And, uh, I've done a lot of stuff. I plan to do a lot more. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take as a whole before Annie can go back to China, but I'm probably going to help Annie and make sure that Annie is uh, set before I go. If anybody is new and they want to see the scope and breadth of the potential Jaya World Tour, uh, go to my website, jayoe.com, and backslash map the map there is pretty pretty awesome and i'll be back to the road as soon as we can get through this phase seems like the last few years have just been full of unforeseen interesting and uh tour stopping instances hopefully a pattern that will end anyways take it easy guys jayo and if you guys don't know what jayo means jayo means to add fuel. Jia ja is add and yo means fuel in Chinese. But uh, everybody needs to add a little fuel to them to, to their life. So I'm gonna get inside, it's chilly. Welcome to Chicago. Bye guys. <laughs>